So the woman was like, okay, come in to receive for me and then take me to Croydon. And then I was like, oh, okay, I will see London later. They will, you know, tow me around and everything. So not knowing that the woman was like doing business with women, you know, selling women, different faces, different men. You sleep with them, you don't even know them. They just come and go, come and go day and night. So there's no rest until I get to escape. So I escaped and went to London Eye, and then I, the problem started when it's getting late now, it's getting darker. I'm homeless. I don't know anybody in this country. I don't know anything. I followed this lady, she was from um, Chile. She took me to where she sleeps in um, Waterloo, Lower Marsh. Not me who lives in uh, Lower Marsh. It was just that brave survivor who was living there. But the real me wanted to, you know, you know explore. I saw the advent of Battersea Art Center. I went and watched the show. And so from there on, I asked to do some in South Africa. I got. Um, myself some few fans and somebody introduced me to this guy. I realized that he is an angel. He was my lifesaver. I lived with him for about six years before he passed away. I'm exposed again to homelessness. How am I going to survive again? when I started to use um, somebody else's you know, identity really because of there was no way that I can go back to Lower Marsh so I did everything I can. I knew it was not good for the law but it was good for my warmth. six months in Holloway, but I did more than that because after my sentence finished, I was under immigration hold for about another two months in Holloway before they take me to Yarswood. And in there as well, both Holloway and Yarswood, I met a lot of amazing women who are not supposed really to be there. I thought of suicidal as no goals on area, but I find myself holding it like you know, precious. And I was looking for something to take me away from this world as quick as possible. They are contributing in a, you know pain for women rather than you know making it better. They make it better for them as immigration, but they make they make it worse for women. You are, you are not even sure who you are anymore, You're waiting for whatever. You can't even sleep because you don't know what is going to happen. Because before you know it, your neighbor has been taken away. A lot of scary things were happening. So I felt like I was more scared in the actual than I was in prison. Heather when she uh, uh, referred me to um, Women for Refugee, then Sarah took her time as well to come and see me and so on. So when they started to have uh, my history and everything, I felt like I belong somewhere for some reason. If you could give the Home Office some advice about what they should do with Yarl's Wood, what would you tell them? To shut it down. It's not making life easier at all. Actually, it's causing more disaster. 